Here they are for one and all The Moomins are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the Moomins They are the Moomins So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to Moomin land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There with the Moomins There were the moments 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 Ba 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 Wait a minute. Who's this? Wait for me, Moomin! Mama! Mama! Are they ready? Are what ready? The pancakes! Not yet. This hobgoblin wood doesn't seem to burn very well. Aren't they cooking? They won't be long. Have some lemonade while you're waiting. Mama! Are the pancakes ready yet? Oh, well. Everything seems normal in the Moomin house. Oh. <laughs> I'm a dumbo. I'm a no-good nincompoop ninny. No, you're not, Snork. You're very clever. No, I'm a failure, a flop, a frightful fraud, and a misfit. But your land ship was a success, wasn't it? Kid stuff. Look, if you can make a ship that runs on land, then I'm sure you can make one that flies. I believe in you. Fat lot of good that does me, snork maiden. You know, last night I thought, I've done it, a flying ship. Then I looked at it again. No good, no good. It was all wrong. Wouldn't, couldn't fly at all. Oh, how could someone so intelligent be such an idiot? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, they're ready. Go and tell the others, little Mai. All right, Moomin Mama. Where's Moomin and Snork Maiden? Snork Maiden's balling again. Come on, Snork Maiden, cheer up. I'm sure Snork will get over it. Inventors always feel down in the dumps when something doesn't work. Does Moomin Papa, do you think? He invents stories, doesn't he, Moomin? Well, they're memoirs, really. Snork Maiden, do you want some pancakes? Oh, yes, please, Moomin Mama. Moomin, go and get Papa. I have a feeling his writing has got stuck again. Okay, Mama. Now, what's the matter, Snork Maiden? Well, the sun returned to the eastern sky when morning came and everything started to get lighter and light. Oh, dear, everybody knows that. Even the stupidest reader, really. I have absolutely no literary talent. I'm an ignoramus, an illiterate dilettante, no, an illiterate idiot. It's high time I gave up writing. Oh. Yes? Papa? Yeah, what is it, Moomin? Uh... Mama said to tell you the pancakes are ready. Well, I, I can't stop now. I'm being creative. I'll eat later. Oh, really? Yes. Anything else? Yeah. N no. I thought you said something. Moomin! Wait! I'm coming! That was really good, Moomin Mama. I'm going out. I'm coming! No, you can't. Snuffkin and I are going on an adventure, and it could be dangerous. Hi, Snuffkin! Hello, Moomin. Didn't think you were coming. Sorry I'm late. What's that? A leaf boat. Look, it sails on the river just like a real one. I bet it goes all the way down to the sea, and maybe even to some foreign lands. Gosh, Snuffkin, I'd like to do that one day. 
Let's go then, shall we? Little Mai wanted to come, but I told her it was too dangerous. Hmm, perhaps that wasn't the best thing to say. Look! I don't think we can all go. It'll just be Moomin and me. Oh, I'm not climbing up there. Well, I am. Wouldn't you like to keep me company instead? Look, there's a cave just a little bit further along this path. Why don't you two girls wait for us there? We won't be long. But if you can walk to it, why on earth climb to it? Ah, uh, difficult for a girl to understand. Well, I think boys are difficult to understand. We're not sure we can reach it from above. Well, we'll soon find out. Are you coming with us, Sniff? Oh, I think I'll guard the rear. Protect the cave from below. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, someone has to look after the girls. Someone responsible. Of it. We'd better stay out here. You never know who might live in there. Don't be silly. No one lives in there. That's what I don't like. Yes, exactly. A place with no one living in it is really scary. I think we must be right above the cave here. Maybe. I can't find a hole, though. Let's look a bit more over that way, Moomin. Wow, i never seen a shell like this before. Look at that one. They must be worth a fortune. Come over here and look, little Mai. Where's little Mai, Snork Maiden? She went into the cave, Sniff. Oh, no, she can't do that. It might be dangerous. <sighs> little Mai, little Mai, come out. No, you come in, scaredy cat. You can't just go in like that. You can't! So tell me, how would you go in then, Mr. Know-it-all? Stay where you are. We'll rescue you. Uh, you're coming too, aren't you, Snark Maiden? You can't stay here alone. I suppose so. Right then, let's go. Uh, shall I hold your hand in case you get frightened? Little Mai! Where are you? <laughs> Oh, really? I thought I was frightening you. Your voice is so shaky. This isn't the way I sound normally. Hey, be quiet. No. I can hear something. Me too. Perhaps it's the wind. No, Snork Maiden. It sounds like someone moaning. <laughs> you can't scare me like that. No one lives here. Who'd want to live here anyway? It's dark and cold and... It's Moomin and Snuffkin. They've climbed down, and we can hear their voices in the distance. So we needn't worry. Why yeah. would they be moaning? No, it's not them. I'm going to go and investigate. No, little Mai. Please, please stop it. Pull hard, Moomin. Will this do? Right. Who's going first? Me. Okay, but please be careful. I will. Take it easy, Moomin. There's no hurry. Hey, are you all right, Moomin? Yes, of course. Oh. 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 What's happened? 
Talk to me! Moomin, are you all right? Oh, I don't know. I think so. My bottom's a little bit sore, though. I'm sure I heard somebody scream just now. Well, the Hemulin was down here having a nap. The Hemulin? If this is another of your games, Moomin, I don't no, like Mr. it. No, Mr. Hemulin, we were climbing down from the top. We didn't know you were asleep. That's not quite right. I wasn't asleep. I wasn't at all comfortable, you know. Well, what were you doing here, then? Well, to tell you the truth, I really haven't been quite myself lately. You haven't lost any more rare stamps, have you, Mr. Hemulin? On the contrary, Moomin. I have them all, even the rarest, every single one. <laughs> Then what's wrong? That's good, isn't it? I mean, my collection is complete. And no one in the world has a better stamp collection than you have, Mr. Hemulin. No, of course not. Mine is perfect. There isn't a stamp I haven't got. Rare ones, old ones, misprinted ones, I have them all. I still don't understand. There's no challenge, nothing to search for. You're too young and you don't collect stamps. Oh, dear me, dear me. I'm beginning to understand. He's not a collector anymore. He's got all the stamps he could ever want. That's the trouble. It's not half as much fun. That's why you're sad, isn't it, Mr. Hemulin? Yes, it is. No fun. No fun at all. Now I understand. I can see why you're upset. And me falling on top of you like that didn't really help, did it? Not exactly, Moo Man. Look who was taking a nap in the cave. It's you, Mr. Hamulin. So it must have been his snoring that we heard. What a noise he was making. I never ever snore. <laughs> you certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. Look, if you promise not to tell anyone, I'll take you to see something very special. What is it? I think it could be repaired. Of course it could. Easy. But you know, you can't always tell. The keel doesn't look too good. Yes, we could take it out to sea in no time. The sail's got holes in it. Hey, I can't find any oars. You can paddle, I'll steer. Look out, friends! It's oh. going over! Everybody. I've lost my confidence and it makes me feel very unhappy. Well, it can happen to anyone, you know. Even to you? Well, not much, of course. Lucky you. I just don't know what to do. How can I get it back? There must be a way. Well, it's hard to say. Everybody's different, but with me, it just happens. Oh. <sighs> I don't think I'll ever invent anything again. Perhaps I'll have a break from my memoirs, too. <laughs> Tea time. Oh, dear, what's the matter with you two? You look a bit down in the dumps. You know, I might have been a bit overconfident. Mm, me, too, I think. <sighs> Ahoy there! Mom and Mama! Mom and Papa! There's no need to yell. We can hear you. What's the matter, Sniff? Uh, uh, we found a boat on the beach. Come and have a look. A shipwreck washed up on the shore. It's not a wreck, and it's got a white sail. Oh. -ho. We're going to repair it, and then it'll be ours. All right, I'm coming. Come on, Snork. Let's take a look at this boat. It could be just the thing to cheer us both up. So, it's got a sail. A white sail, you say? That could be extremely interesting. Hmm, it's a sturdy little craft. It's nicely built. Well designed. She's abandoned, so does that mean we can keep her? Well, it seems to be in pretty good condition except for the hole in the bottom. You know, maybe that's why she was abandoned here. Uh, you could be right, Snuffkin. Finders keepers, you guys. Of course it makes it our boat. You'd have to wait to see if anyone claims it first, little mind. What shall we do then, Papa? 
Well, first things first, we must repair the hole and then tie her up securely in case there's a storm. <laughs> Absolutely. Then if the owner comes, we ought to give her back to him. Mind you, he might know she's here. So what are we going to do when we've repaired her? Oh, it's bad for boats not to be used. We could sail the seven seas. Hooray! We can go pearl fishing. <laughs> I'd be happy just to explore around here. Don't worry, Snort Maiden. If we get big waves, we can sail between them. Isn't that right, Boom and Papa? Well, in a way. Now, uh, come on, let's get to work. <laughs> How about you, Snork? Will you help us? Yes, of course. Can I do anything for you, Moomin Papa? Yes, if you'd like to, Mr. Hamulin. Well, I'm afraid I'm not much of a builder, but if there is something I could do... Well, let's get her out of the water first, shall we? Yeah, come on, let's do it! And we'll need some big logs to go under her. I think ten should be enough. <laughs> Let's all no go, problem. Yeah, she'll need to be safe to work on, so we'll want something strong to keep her upright as well. And, uh, lots of tools. I'll go home and get some. I think we'll need a bucket and a shovel. I'll come with you, help you choose. Yes, you go. I'll stay and keep guard in case the owner comes back. Sleep well. Mm. Man, the top sails. What? Are they all in bed, my dear? Yes, dear, sleeping like logs. I'm not surprised. They all work very, very hard today. I can't wait until the boat's ready and we can sail off somewhere. My dear, we'll go anywhere in the world you like. Anywhere at all. You've only got to say and off we'll jolly we'll go. It doesn't have to be far, dear. Let's get to bed, too. We've got an early start in the morning. Oh! Oh, intellectuals like me aren't used to this hard work. Oh, I'm tired out and I can hardly move, Mama. I'd better put these tired legs to bed. Good night, dear Moomin Papa. This will be good for him, I think. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. A perfect fit, if I may say so. Yeah. Well, now for the rest of her. Right. Look at me, Moomin. I'm doing the tarring. I know, little Mai. I'm only doing where you can't reach. Oh, all right, then. Sniff, you lazy landlubber. Bring me some more tar. Eh? No, I won't. Get it yourself, you lazy thing. You wanted to do it. I didn't want to carry tar, though. And anyway, I'm the painter. Come on, hurry up. Moomin, Mama. Should I cut it all out? Yes, please, Snork Maiden. Hey, feeling all right, Mr. Hemulin? Yes, thank you. You're fixing the boat very quickly. Yeah, we sure are. Should be finished very soon. Yes, I'm sure it will. That's what I was afraid of. What shall I do then, Snuffkin? Well, maybe you could start collecting something else. What you think? Something else? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Anything, really. How about butterflies? No, my second cousin does that, and he's a complete idiot. It has to be something interesting. Ornaments? Ornaments? Yeah, you could collect those forever. Not scientific. Well, it's up to you, but I think you really ought to collect something, Mr. Hemulin. Uh... Mama! Mama! Mama, quick, hurry up! We're gonna launch the new boat! 
All right, wait for me. I'm coming. The sail you mended is perfect, Mama. Come on. Are you ready, everybody? I'll count to three and then push as hard as you can. One, two, three. And so, with their new boat finally repaired and unclaimed, Moomin and the others began to get very excited about their trip around the world. Even Snork and Mr. Hemulin were in unusually high spirits. All aboard for a trial run. I've decided what I'm going to collect. Flowers, look, here's my first sample. It's a sweet briar, Rosa Rubiganosa. That's great, good for you. Snork Maiden, I've just had a new idea for my flying ship. I'm certain it'll work this time. Of course it will, Snork. Good luck. I'd better get on. I'll right, start paddling, everyone. We'll be back soon, my dear Mum and Mama. Take as long as you like, Papa. I'll prepare something cold for when you get back. One, two, one, two. Way, way into the deep blue yonder. They love the laughter and they love the living, the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moments. The moments. They love the laughter and they love the living, the moments. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moments.